Today we have first day of school back at Brent Haven Academy. Our reigning queen bee, Giselle St. Clair, she graduated last year and went to Stanford, which left the position of queen bee wide open this year. It's like being the it girl of the it girls. Every boy at Brent Haven wants to be with you, and every girl obviously wants to be you. It's like being the president of the United States are the Queen of England. It's a glamorous but also but also sometimes dirty and tedious job. But someone has to do it and I'll be damned if anyone gets the title but me. Lauren Yates was my first official act of Queen Bee today. So she came to school and actually had the audacity to try to sit on the steps with us at Brent Haven. The problem with that is Lauren is new money and we're all old money and as we all know, new money, you can lose it very quickly and very easily. Her dad got laid off from his fancy investment banker job last year, and he hasn't found work since. I heard my mom tell Kim, my boyfriend, well, I heard my mom tell his mom that Mrs. Yates is burning through Mr. Yates' money, like, ridiculously fast. She's broke now. Like, they're going to have to put their Beverly Hills mansion up for sale and everything, which makes Lauren no longer cool enough are wealthy enough to be a part of the it group. So when she walked her ass up those steps to Brent Haven and actually thought she was going to sit with us, I looked at her and then I looked right past her. Sorry, boo, but you are effectively a non-fucking factor. Then there was this new girl today. Her name was like Jenny or Jennifer or Jenna or something equally fucking boring. I heard she's from like backward ass, backwater ass Texas or somewhere like that. Admittedly though, she's actually kind of cute. For a hot minute, I thought she might have been it girl material until I looked at her and then I looked at her shoes and then I wanted to fucking vomit in my mouth. It was my first day at Brent Haven Preparatory Academy. Let's see. It's not Lincoln High, but it was okay. I was a little bit nervous about starting a new school in a new city. And I hated having to leave my friends Tish and Ben and Sage behind. This was supposed to be our year. We were supposed to go to prom together and graduate together and eventually all go to Texas A&M together. But obviously now that's not happening since they're there and, well, I'm here. On the flip side, I did meet two girls that seemed pretty cool today. Jess and Lens. They seem less superficial than most everybody else there at that place seemed today. Tish says that she's jealous. She wished she could trade places with me and go to Brent Haven with all the kids of all the rich and fabulously wealthy people out here. She can have it. Any day, I'll go back home to my sleepy town in sleepy College Station, Texas, where Josh is. He finally asked me out after like seven years of crushing on him. And before things could actually get going this summer, Dad came home and announced the big news. He'd made senior partner at the law firm and we were moving to L.A. Yippee! <clears throat> I met Alex Sinclair today, the teenage supermodel, like her face has been plastered over the entire TV and every fashion magazine that you pick up. Ironically, she seemed like the most level-headed and down-to-earth one of all. She's actually more pretty in person than she is on screen, which says something, because normally it's the other way around. I think my brother Will has a crush on her. That's the reason he suckered me into helping her study for our physics test on Wednesday. It's cool, though, because he's going to owe me a month of kitchen duty in advance. Other than that, nothing too exciting happened today. It's familiar being back at Brent Haven, and not really in a good way. I mean, I know I'm one of those people, and I'm part of that crowd, but it's just so shallow and superficial that sometimes it just makes my head hurt. I feel like I've turned over a new, new leaf. I'm a new person since leaving and going to New York and I'm just so over Mia and her bullshit. I saw her today and supposedly we've been BFF since like third grade but she didn't even look at me like she pretended like I wasn't even in the same room as her much less the same school. 
I didn't really expect much from her. She's been a total bitch since I left freshman year. I don't know what her problem is, but she didn't try to really reach out to me or contact me, and I didn't return the favor. On the flip side, I met a boy today. His name is Will, and he's really cute and sweet and in a really, like, just goofy boy next door kind of way. Oh, my God, I'm blushing right now. Um, I can't even believe I'm talking about this on camera, but I really like him, and I hope something comes of it. He reminds me of Cam before being corrupted by asshole Ethan and just douchebag Noah. His sister is really cool, too. I heard all types of crazy rumors today about why I suddenly came back from modeling in New York. I heard, let's see, um, I was pregnant and had someone's love child and my parents made me come back. I also heard that I was strung out on drugs and went to rehab and now I'm back here so my parents can keep a close eye on me. Like I said, shallow and superficial and just, I'm just over it. Um, obviously that's not the truth, but I don't really feel like correcting anybody because to be honest, it's none of their business. I have a confession to make. I did something today. Something really, really stupid. Something I haven't done in a very long time. Something I thought I was over. Something I thought I had came a long way from actually doing. But that's the thing about pain. It overshadows all rational and reasonable logic. It just makes you do stupid shit. Sometimes stuff just, it hurts so, so bad that you just want to numb it and make it go away. You just want to make the emotional pain go away, even if it means inflicting physical pain on yourself so you can feel something other than, like, the inside stuff. That was a stupid thing I did today. <clears throat> My dad, he's been out of work for like a year and he still hasn't found work and my mom, she's too busy just spending money and trying to keep up with people like Mrs. Escott and Mrs. Buchanan to really care about the rest of us. My friends, I mean, they were my friends, I thought they were my friends, but they apparently decided not to be my friends anymore. I, Saw them at school today, and they just ignored me for the entire day. It was my kid. <clears throat> I knew the type of people they were when I started hanging out with them. Just like I knew the type of person Ethan was before I started hanging out with him this summer. But at Noah's Memorial Day party last year, I... He told me he was maybe falling in love with me and I told him I'd always been in love with him and one thing led to another and we ended up hanging out over the summer and then I saw him in the hallway today and he just looked at me and kept walking so yeah that was my sucky day and I came home and did something stupid as a result of it because I mean, it's one thing to know what's right and another thing to do what's right. And it's really hard to do what's right when just shit hurts and when you're dealing with, I guess, a broken heart and your friends abandoning you and your family life crashing down around you. It makes it just nearly impossible. <sighs> 